Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours and your Monday Minutes. Uh, today, going to continue on with our abdominal emergencies, and this is part two, and we're going to focus on GI bleeding. Before we do, I'd like to talk about why this stuff is important, guys. I'm sure you've heard me say this before, but these are key elements that you will see on your EMS exams, right? So, not only important for that, also great for your patient care, your clinical assessment, deciding what you're going to do for a patient, understanding what you're doing for a patient. Also great for your documentation and interaction with other healthcare and EMS professionals. So, GI bleeding, guys, our main concern, of course, is that hypovolemia, right? Got to keep an eye out for that and, of course, ready to evaluate our patient rapidly. So, when we're looking at some, some of the key findings and some of the key things we're looking for with our patients, all right, are things like the airway. Pretty common, but is it open? Because of vomiting on these patients, it could be obstructed. And is your patient possibly in shock? Check the vital signs, their blood pressure, their heart rate, their skin appearance, okay, and how it feels. Is it clammy, warm? right? Are they actively bleeding? All right, you know, your upper GI bleeding, that's that bleeding that's coming from the top of the small intestine or it's above the duodenum, okay? Your lower GI bleeding, this is usually from a lesion in the tract that's below the small intestine or below your duodenum, okay? Um, what about what the blood looks like? Well, bright red blood, that's in the stool. Um, look out for dark, tarry stool. That's the digested blood. What about vomiting blood? That hematemesis, right? Or your coffee grounds, right? Inside the vomitus, right? In patients vomiting up coffee grounds. That's the digestion of blood by the stomach acids. Okay, also indicating if it's below or above uh, in the GI tract. Now, what's your management for these patients? Well, pretty much it's what we've talked about in, in the last video where a lot of it is supportive, right? Your airway, like I mentioned, is it obstructed from the vomiting? Oxygen, position of comfort, uh, IV, because you might need to replace fluid and, and assist with blood pressure. The vomiting, monitoring, and transport. But, of course, with these patients, you've got a much, much bigger chance of shock, and that's what you're really looking out for. So keep that in mind with these GI bleed patients. All right, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed these Monday Minutes. I um, hope you can use them in your day-to-day -day, uh, EMS activities. Contact me with some minutes of your own, guys. I want to hear what you'd like to see on these episodes. So send me your suggestions and feedback. All right, it's my email. It's contact at emsofficehours.com. Very easy to get in touch with me there. And, of course, you can follow me on various social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I'm on all of them. As always, Tim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours and the Monday Minutes. Stay safe.